Hi, I'm Paul Nevin. I uh, am standing on Big Indian Rock here in the Susquehanna River at uh, Safe Harbor. I've been coming to this place for about the last 25 years. Um, and it, it's become a, a major uh, a major part of, of my um, my life. I take a look at some of the images that were actually carved into Big Indian Rock. Um, uh, Big Indian Rock is a large flat rock. Uh, it has a very good surface for carving, but uh, it's all of the um, carvings on Big Indian Rock, at least the vast majority, are carved around the perimeter of the rock. And uh, it may, may have been done purposely in this way so that it, it left the uh, center open for a group of, of people to gather. That way you wouldn't be walking on the, on the carvings themselves. These are some of the carvings on the eastern side of the rock that really show up well. On a cloudy day, uh, you may not be able to see these at all. They really show up the best when, when you have bright sunlight late in the day or early in the morning. Um, the carvings are about a quarter uh, of, of an inch deep at the deepest and uh, the, the patina of the rock that's been carved out is, is almost a match for the surface of the rock, so they really don't stand out on their own. The least obtrusive way to make them stand out more is to just take a wet sponge. And this works on this site because this, these are rocks that are very hard, they're very um, uh, resistant to erosion to begin with, and at this particular site, this is, this is a way that, that really does not impact the, the petroglyph itself. Uh, other rock art sites, the rocks could be much more uh, delicate, and so each, each site is, is uh, different in the way that, that you can view, do, view the petroglyphs. The best way is just to view them under really ultimate uh, lighting conditions. In their in the natural in their natural state, this is a uh, human figure. We mentioned the possible dating on these things. It looks like this this figure may have a bow, might be carrying a bow, and that would that would limit it to um, the last um, thousand years that uh, these could have been carved, uh, at least that particular one. That's when the bow, bow and arrows were in use in, in this area. This figure here is also a human-like figure. We see what could be de described as two antlers or two horns or maybe two feathers in a headdress at this figure's head. And it's been suggested that this could actually be a uh, uh, symbolic of the birth of a, of a human. You see the legs here, the arms, the body, and it almost looks as if another human figure is being born of this body. Um, if we reference these in terms of uh, Algonquian symbology, uh, their uh, medicine men were often depicted with these uh, antlers or antennas on their heads in, in Algonquian symbology.